All right, to some more stories tonight. Ahead of the Monetary Policy Committee's announcement on the policy rate on Monday, May 23, the Ghana Union of Traders Association, Guta, has urged the Monetary Policy Committee not to increase the policy rates. This comes as a year-on-year -year inflation for the month of April has 23.6% driven, <coughs> sorry, largely by transport and food. The last time the Monetary Policy Committee met, interest rate was increased by 2.5% to 17%. Dr. Joseph Abing is president of Guta. Don't also forget that when the, uh, the inflation goes up like this, it also pushes up the interest rate. So even now we are scared if it's not going to be affected again. If it, it, it gets affected, it means that it, it is also going to add up another stress of doing business, that's the interest rate going up. So um, uh, uh, normally it's not good at all because the, the consuming and the purchasing power of the consumer um, is so limited. The quantity that you use to buy uh, is not the same. He will struggle if first you have to buy 10 pieces of an item. Now he will be able, only able to buy by five. And that limits your turnover. And when that happens, it means that um, um, your business is going down. Uh, because you will not be able to service your debt and all that. So what you want the Monetary Policy Committee, uh, they've been with, the understanding we get is that they will soon begin their meetings. You want them to consider many of these factors and if possible keep the interest, the policy rate at where it is. Yeah, there are so many things that we have to work on. That's the, our um, uh, forest exchange. Uh, we have to find a way to bring it a little down. And then also the VAT that have... Um, been changed into the flat uh, the flat rate to the um, standard rate it means that we have to pay a lot more 